who's down 30 pounds? I am. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> yes. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it has been a while and I humbly apologize for my absence, but um, if you're anything like me, then you know life gets in the way. So let's just hop right into it. 30 pounds. If, I had, if Wagobi had a back, I would just like pat Wagobi on the back. But <laughs> anyway, um, I will say that it has been a slow, slow process for me. I'm just not one of them people that lose weight, you know, fast. I mean, slow is it's been slow and consistent, which is a good thing. I just, you know, when I think back when I've lost weight before, it was, it was kind of like that. So I've roughly been losing one pound, maybe two pounds a week. And as you all know, I started this back in November. In my, in my calculations, and I'm not a mathematician, I should be at like 45 pounds. Um, but I'm here um, sitting right at 30 pounds. So um, let me first just say welcome to all of my new subscribers. Hello, welcome, and thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. And thank you guys so much for taking the time to um, view my content. So I really appreciate it. And then up to the blah, blah, blah. Thank you guys so much for sharing your expertise and your experiences in the comment. It has been truly helpful, not only for me, but for other people who are just starting their journey. Um, and for those who have been on this journey for a while, I mean, ugh, thank you so much. I'm learning from you as well. Even if you don't have a channel, I am learning from the comments. Please believe me. All right. So as I said, you know, I'll have to keep my, I have to keep my little notepad here because I'll just get off on a tangent and start talking about random stuff. All right, so slow loss. Um, people that see me every day, like my family, they have finally started to notice. Like 30 pounds, obviously they should notice, but it was so gradual that it feels like within the last week or two, it's been like, oh my gosh, yes, I can see it now. I, wow, you know, it's finally looked at me like, oh my gosh, I can see it now. Because you want people to start noticing it immediately, right? It's like, I lost four pounds. How did you not know this? <laughs> but anyway, that's just me. Okay, so 30 pounds down. Um, I am back to working out once a week. It's just my life has been so busy. I, I'm not making excuses. I've lost 30 pounds with working out once a week. And usually it's weightlifting or something like that on the weekends. So, yeah, once a week. Um, let's talk about the fatigue. And that's just me finishing 1.7. And I've also hopped into 2.4. So what I've noticed, the fatigue comes and goes. It seems as if, like, the first two weeks of being... i got to put my little shoulder down. I'm trying to be cute. It seems as if, um, like the first two weeks on um, the injection, I'm worn out. Like I've had to miss my one day a week workout sometimes because I'm just so exhausted. And I've been taking it on Thursdays and I work out on Saturdays. And still by Saturday, I'm like, I'm still tired. Um, going into the third week, I can feel my energy start to slowly come back. Week four, it's like, oh my God, okay, I'm doing this. And then again, it's time to take the next injection, the next injection, and then it's back um, to square one with the fatigue. So... I will say that most of my weight loss has, has started with the 1.7. I started seeing it. It was still slow, but sometimes it would drop off like three pounds in a week versus the one to two pounds. And so eating has just been really, I know it sounds so weird, but really difficult. Um, and I'm trying to get to some of the questions that I've had. Um, in the comments. So when I say eating has been difficult, I, I'll insert some pictures of some of the things that I've been eating. Um, it's hard to get food down. I'm like, I just have no appetite for it. So what I have started doing, you know, I'm making sure that I'm taking in enough vitamins because I feel like the foods that I'm eating aren't as nourishing to my body as they should be. So I am taking vitamin supplement, supplements, um, vitamin D, um, omega-3. I take a one a day. Uh, what else? Uh, vitamin B12 for the energy, um, things like that. I can go 
hours without eating. At the beginning, I used to have headaches and things like that. So I was just kind of eating frequently just to kind of keep those headaches at bay. I don't get the headaches anymore and I can go even longer periods of time without eating. So um, that's something that I thought hey, this is different. You know, I just, it's just hard. I'll try to drink like a protein shake or something or um, like a granola bar or um, an apple or a banana or something like that. It's just been, I'm not even, I'm not complaining. I don't want this to come off like I'm complaining. It's just different. Like it is just different. It really is mental in terms of how you're changing your lifestyle with it. It, yeah, it, it's different. Um, and when I say different, like when you eat something, you can almost, when you eat something, you can almost see or feel like, uh, that just wasn't nourishing to my body. Like, right, a gla like a glazed donut. I'm like, it was like an empty calorie, which donuts obviously are, but I don't enjoy it. I do it like so I can have something in my body for energy. Um, so with that, I have to, um, I have to do a lot better. And like I said, that's why I call it a journey because I do not get it right every week. I do not. It is truly a journey for me. Um, what am I eating? I'm not on a low carb diet. Um, uh, not keto or anything like that. But what is really interesting, and this is crazy for all of my coffee drinkers, I feel like I don't have to have caffeine in the morning. Am I crazy? Like, am I a crazy person? Like, what is even happening to, like, what is even life anymore? What? But I still drink it, but I can't even get a whole cup down. Like, I can't get a whole cup of coffee down. What is, what, what is even like? Like, you know, that part is really weird. Like, I feel like I don't have to have it. So when I say it affects your cravings, it is strange. It is strange happenings. I've always been a breakfast eater. Uh, please follow me because I know I'm kind of all over the place. But I've always been a breakfast eater. And like I said, I have to force down a piece of toast. And I try to make myself eat something in the morning just so I can take my vitamins. Because you know if you take vitamins on an empty stomach sometimes, then you wind up feeling kind of, ugh. It just feels just kind of, ugh. It, it's not good. So I try to, you know, get something down. Um, and like I said, I'll use shakes or something for protein. But what I was going to say was, you know, intermittent fasting. I tried it years, years ago, and I was just like, oh, my God, I'm dying. You know, you just feel like one of those persons, like, on a um, desert island, like, what? It's like, what? That's how it used to be for intermittent fasting. But I find myself that I'm naturally doing it. Like, I may stop eating dinner at, like, 5.30 the night before, and it's my last meal because I'm not hungry anymore. And the next morning, I'm still not hungry. Like, I have to, like I said, force something down for breakfast. So I've like naturally, my body's naturally kind of going into that direction, which is strange. Have any of you had that experience? Because is it just me? Like what? That's been weird. I've, so I, I don't know. I'm going to have to read more about the intermittent fasting and how that's been kind of working. Um, so yeah, um, I, I talked about needing to add more nourishing foods to my diet. Okay, now this is super important. So the last time you guys saw me, um, I put a little clip in the um, video of me going to the doctor, um, showing my weight loss, um, things like that. Everything was looking good. Uh, he did give me a um, an order to get some lab work done. Life has been so busy. I recently just got the lab work done. I know it. I know mammograms, lab work. I, I just got it done. Um, and uh, he said that my kidneys were not very happy. And based on my results, he's like, you need to drink more water. Have you been drinking more? And I'm like, no, I really have not. He's like, you need to make sure that you're drinking water. And obviously we're going to test that again. So if I want to stay on this medication, I have to be kind to my kidneys. So yes. Um, and what that means, I've been looking up foods that kind of help with that. Um, carrots, cucumbers, and those are like healthy options anyway. So more water. So I've got my cute water cup here. It's about 32 ounces and I've been trying to like get a gallon in. Um, so I've been doing much, much, much better. And I know it's going to sound like really crazy. I, mean, I noticed that my energy has increased. Now I've spoke about drinking water before, but just again, this is a journey. I'm learning the medical importance of it, not just to flush off, you know, you know, accelerate weight loss. Um, it helps with your skin because the skin is just like glowing. Okay. No. 
you, you're not here for that. Um, but I just be feeling really good. But in terms of, hey, I can see my body's different. You know, the, I haven't bought any new clothes or anything, but the clothes that I have been buying is, um, is looser. But anyway, back to the water. Please drink the water. It's important because your doctor will take you off of the medication if he sees that your kidneys are not working, as he should. I mean, he as he should. So, you know, I don't want to not be on it because it's helped me tremendously. And as a lot of you know, you know, I was dealing with perimenopause and no matter what I did, I couldn't lose the weight. And it was very depressing. It was very discouraging. You know, and I'm always like, okay, you got this. And I'm, I'm just really thankful for insurance. Um, and I'm thankful for my doctor um, and just the opportunity to be able to use this medication to help with myself. Now, I know there's been a few people in the comments asking, like, you know, I'm not covered anymore. And, oh, my gosh, I'm putting myself in your shoes. And I'm so sorry that that has happened. So I'm hoping that new information comes out um, with alternatives and things like that to help you. Um, someone also in the comments, I'm trying to remember because it was like a couple of weeks back, I believe, um, talked about making sure that your doctor codes it correctly when they're trying to put the order in. So if you've got, I, I believe, one or two comorbidities, like high blood pressure, uh, pre-diabetic, um, morbidly obese, things like that, the insurance is more likely to, um, the insurance is more likely to cover the medication for you. So um, that is something. What else? The 2.4. Now, what was really weird, and this is the first time that it has happened, is that my last injection, like, it was weird because I stuck it in. And, you know, the little yellow bar that's supposed to go down, that did not happen. I'm like, that's weird. And I thought, like, my refrigerator, because it's, like, 20 years old, um, I thought, like, it had frozen because it goes up and I have to make sure that I keep the... The temperature down and I'm like oh my god did this stuff freeze in here but it wasn't but anyway I think it was just kind of defective because it didn't go in I'm like how much went in I don't want to overdose myself I mean because I don't want to feel sick or anything so I just waited and I'm like okay let me try it again with the same pen and nothing happened when I stuck it in my arm so then when I, I put the top back on I'm like something's wrong with this I'm gonna have to use a different one so I took the top back off and the squirter or the needle thing it literally started squirting around across the room I don't know what that was. That was weird, you know, because these things are too expensive to be wasting one. <laughs> right? I might have to say something to a girl be like, email is like, hey, is, has anybody ever experienced that? Um, still little to no um, hot flashes. So I think it's been helping with um, just a little bit. So I'm probably at 90% before they were completely gone, but I feel like they're kind of trying to ease back in. Um, but I have not broke out in a huge heavy sweat through this video and I've got multiple like rings on so um, I do believe that it is helping with that. We're finally in spring so I've got my spring background on again so I'm hoping to do a little bit more movement in terms of walking. Um, also someone from Ghana said that they were trying to get it and I'm not sure um, you know where people internationally or if they're you know, selling it internationally. If anyone knows, could you guys put some more information in the comments? That would be hugely helpful. The 2.4, which I just started, um, it's the truth. Um, if you, it, it's, it's the truth. I, I have to get some shakes just so I can get some nourishment in. Cause I mean, if you want to talk about how many calories I'm eating in a day, I know I'm not eating 1500. I'm like probably 1200. And that's just me kind of thinking about it because I'm not following any particular diet plan. Um, yeah, it's just, but yeah, my clothes are fitting looser. And I know you guys have to follow it. If you block, watch my videos, I'm really trying to stay focused here. Um, but the 2.4, um, I have been, well, honestly, let me back up. The first injection that I took for the 2.4, I felt really sick for like a day and a half, almost like I did. Uh, the first time I took the 0.25, so that was different. By the time I got to my next injection, I didn't feel anything. So that part was definitely different for me. Um, if you're starting the 2.5 and you've not noticed any weight loss, you've not noticed uh, noticed any um, 
you like any of your cravings leaving, just give it time. I really feel like this is different per person. You know, I don't know if my weight loss is just slower because, you know, it's fighting against perimenopause and my body is just like trying to hold on to the fat like it is its long lost best friend. It doesn't want to get rid of it. You know, or I, I don't know, but every, you know, I've seen some people like, man, six pounds, I'm down 50, what, 50 pounds? How? It's all different. Just hang in there, stay the course. It is going to happen for you. And again, this has been a slow process for me. It's been really slow, but I do appreciate you all coming back and, you know, looking at my updates and things like that. So um, if you have... Um, questions um, or have an idea for a video you want me to do next, I will do so. Um, I'll probably just try to check in at least once a week on my phone, so it really won't be like an actual video, so I'll just check in on my phone. Um, just, you know, I like to do this because sometimes I can insert pictures and stuff like that, especially if I have time, but yeah, like I said, work and school has just been kind of crazy and life is happening and, you know, um, yeah. yeah. Um, I want to go into all the details, but, you know, I'm just grateful and I'm thankful to God for, you know, my family, our health, our safety, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm just genuinely thankful. I'm thankful for all of you. Um, I hope all of you are finding success on this. Um, yeah, I appreciate you being here. So, uh, you guys have just kind of followed me all around this little loop here. And I really wanted to say thank you again, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.